Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to learn how to use parameters from systems manager within our cloud formation stack. So let's try to understand what we are going to do. So you can see that users, we as a user, whenever we are going to create a stack, we are going to import the values from the systems manager and accordingly create the resources. So this will give us a modularity approach and also help us systematically implement, uh, implement the requirements while just changing the parameters from the system manager instead of returning to the stack and rebuilding the whole template. So let's get started. So let's go to our template of an EC2 instance. You can see that we have mentioned all the values over here and haven't used any kind of parameter. Okay, so let's grab all these values first. We'll go to this particular notepad and keep those values here for our further reference. Yeah. So now let's go to our systems manager. So within the systems manager, we have got application management and there we have got a parameter store. Okay. And over here, I'll be going and creating a parameter. The name of the parameter that I'll be assigning first is of availability zone. Okay. Availability zone. Okay. We have added availability zone over here. Description is default availability zone yeah and the data type let it be text only and for the value we'll be taking the value from here that is us east 1a okay that's it for it and then we'll say create the parameter can see that the parameter for availability zone within our systems manager has been created. Now again, we'll be creating parameters for image ID as well as instance type. Okay, so I'll just grab this. Okay, within the description, default image ID. Within the string, I'll be keeping it as string only. And within this, I'll be selecting the data type as AWS EC2 image and just copying the value and pasting it right here. So now create parameter. We can refresh it can see that image ID is also created. The next one is of instance type. Create parameter. Instance type. Again, this is a default instance type. Okay, I'll be keeping it as string text. And for the value, I'll be adding it as a t2.micro, which will be our instance type, okay? That's it. And create parameter. So now you can see that we have added all the three parameters over here. Now, what all changes do we need to make over here that we'll be considering, yeah? So first, I will be creating a parameter section Within this, we'll be adding availability zone. Within that, I will be defining the type. And in this case, we won't directly add string over here. Since we are taking the parameters from systems manager, 
we'll explicitly add the type as AWS colon colon SSM colon colon parameter colon colon value and within the value we'll be entering the type as string. So then it will automatically grab the value from that particular system manager and the default value that we'll be mentioning is availability zone. Okay. Then now we'll go and add the parameter for image ID. Type over here will be AWS colon colon SSM parameter its value will be of type AWS EC2 image ID. Okay, this will be our type and for the default we are using image ID. Okay. And for the instance type again we'll be defining its type. value and the value over here will be string once again and its default value will be instance type okay now let's go over here and refer these values reference colon availability zoom Similarly, for the image ID, friends will be image ID. Okay, forgot this. Okay. And again, for the instance type, be referencing it. Okay. okay. Control. S. Now let's go to our cloud formation template. Go to cloud formation. Okay. You can see that we'll create a stack with new resources. I will be uploading a template file. Okay. Now, then next, the stack name will be my EC2 stack. Okay. Next, I'll keeping the rest of the things as it is and submit. Now you can see that the creation has completed and from the param and within the parameters tab you can see that all the values got imported from our SSM. So hope you found the video helpful. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel if you found the videos helpful. So thank you so much and have a nice day.